Welcome to King and It, you bunch of perverts. Now that you've got your minds out of the hey. gutter. <laughs> welcome back to the vlog, lads. <laughs> so if you're brand new here, this is our bus named Custard. My name's Craig and this is Amy. And this week we're cracking on with some more renovations, aren't we? Well, I mean... Might be some napping, might be some curries, might be some cupcakes. We're not, um, we're not DIY professionals over here in the King and It HQ. Sure so um, lockdown's still apparent. So we can't really have any professionals up to help us. So we're just doing what we can. Do you know we're having a laugh? You're having a laugh, baby. Well, yeah. We're having such a laugh. We're having <laughs> such a laugh. <laughs> First job of the day is finish the painting that we didn't finish the other day because we couldn't be bothered. Because we napped and had cupcakes. <laughs> Her name is Custard. Custard. And she's a big yellow Custard bus. So soon she'll be our home. The best home. And we can go anywhere in her because she's yellow like Custard. Custard. Can't we get someone in to do that? <laughs> Honestly. Haven't you got a mate? Trying to get cover? you to do some work is like pulling teeth. Uh, these hands were not made for physical work. Look at you coming all in your cute outfits to work. This is my gym gear, because I'm ready to work. You look so sporty. <laughs> sporty, sporty. <laughs> Give me your best roundhouse kick. No, my wiggle fall off. Last week we got... I don't know if you can see. You can't actually see, yeah. You can see it, yeah? <laughs> so it's like a different... Because this is mat that we used before, but it got too dirty like really quickly. So we've changed it and we've gone for a um, we've gone for a different finish, which is which is eggshell finish, which means like it's got a little bit of a shine to it, which he didn't really want. But we bought this paint because it's like scuff proof and like mark proof. Good for you. Good for fake tan. Really good for fake tan. Yeah. I remember the first time I fake tan in here, I squirted it and it just shot out and went on the blinds. <laughs> oh yeah. And then I had to get bleach and it, it turned out fine. But yeah. So um. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more resistant because, yeah, you just put a little mark on there. Hang on. Are you just talking again so you could try and get out of work? <laughs> Honey cupcakes! <laughs> hey. FYI, if you're gonna build a bus, get yourself an Aussie mattress. We also need to replace this four-way carpet, which makes the cab a little bit dark, so we're gonna order some new stuff. <laughs> Next thing we need to do, clean out the boot, because it's stinking. Also, whilst we were away, we are in this lovely little campsite. I put the hose in to fill up the tank, and all I could see was just like streaming water coming out of the boot. Oh. Tank's leaking, isn't it? Wicked! So there's like, one of the connections is loose. So we need to pull the whole tank out and get it fixed. But look at the state of this. Does it stand up anymore? No. So that's broken. So we need a new one of them. This was our grey tank, which is broken somehow. That we used to roll underneath the van and then empty our sink and then roll it back out. It was disgusting. I'd carry it to the gutter like that. <laughs> Full of <laughs> porridge and beans. Oh, Minging. So yeah, it just needs a big clean up, basically. And also new locks, Craig. Yeah. Because we need to secure this. You say new locks, we need a lock. We didn't even have one. <laughs> Go on, love, put your back into it. I've been sleeping so well this week, Craig. I haven't done anything. We're on our second coat of paint, so there's not much to really film. We're not going to bore you with another montage. It's looking amazing. It's so satisfying. Yeah. Filling in all the little gaps and painting over the big, like, grubby hand marks that we've left on the ceiling and the walls. You're just bigging yourself up, yeah. 
Oh, well, if I don't do it, nobody will do it, Craig. Oh, you're doing a lovely job, hon. I'm like, well, the names, that looks lush. <laughs> got a parcel today. Oh! So we got a parcel. Ooh! Don't show my address. Um, today, and this is a, a belter. Yeah. A parcel. Does the people still send this stuff? Yeah, that's cool. Apparently, it's still happening, yeah. So if you want to send this something. <laughs> So this is from Danny Simpson, mm -hmm. who's an Australian artist who's currently in Ireland. So she actually said she was inspired by our Wales trips and decided to do a piece of art for us. Love it. And we wanted something like Welsh to go in the bus, yeah. you know, to represent custard and that. Yeah. And um, she's made, she's drawn this. This is incredible. Wow. So this is the country of Wales and it's just got all the iconic things you know, bridges, castles, um, you know, rugby, there's little Welsh bunnies, and she's even done a love spoon, and it's got king in it written on the love spoon. That is so incredible. Like, look at that, and how she's like, used the wing of the bird to create the outline of the Welsh coast and everything. <gasps> Beautiful. What girl. Just so you know him, that's not the coast there. That England is actually that way. That's completely true. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided that this is going to go behind my driver's seat. I'm going to get a frame for it. I'm going to frame it behind because Love it's just it. a plain white wall. Yeah. So thank you, Danny, so much. You're yeah. absolute champion. Gorgeous. We love it. What else you got? You spoiled cow. <laughs> she also sent us this one and it says, Yaki Da which is, what did we say man? Good health, better Google it. Terrible Welsh folk over here. <laughs> um, and it sort of said when you cheers somebody and when you're drinking as like a gesture of good good health. Yeah, so what's the country where they go Prost in Germany? So now we can be like Yachida. Craig. What? I've had a bit of a change of heart. Now, j bear with me now, okay? Don't be all like, I so told you so. It already sounds like a bad idea. Um, well, you know these bits here? Right. The ones that I wanted a four-way carpet before and you wouldn't let me. Do you think we should four-way carpet? Are you thinking of this? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said from the beginning. You never I listen mean, to me. I mean, don't even worry about <laughs> this. Fine. Like, ideally, you know, from there all around, just that top half there. It's got to be a good finish. She's our queen. She will be a queen. We're still talking. Yeah, put the radio on, love. <laughs> oh! Hallelujah! Watch yourself, Craig. She'll blind you. Welcome to heaven. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> how good does that look now? She looks fab. I, I didn't realise how much she needed painting until you do it. She was slightly yellow, so yeah. I'm excited to take new pictures in our custy chops. You ready to build a box? Um, no. All right then, Bob the Builder, what are we doing next? Well, we need to take this four-way carpet off because we're going to replace it with our new wheat stuff. What about your little box thing? Tell, tell your fans what box you're going to make now. Hi, fans. So we're going to build something for Amy. So this part here where her chair is, we bought this second-hand chair it doesn't look that bad, but it's just a bit like metally, and we just end up throwing crap underneath here. Usually shoes, isn't it? Yeah, so we're gonna build, we're gonna box this out here and have a little flap here, which is gonna double up as a cupboard and also somewhere for Amy to put her feet when we're driving, because otherwise they just dangle off the edge. Let's let's try and build a box, shall we? I mean, we could try. Maybe I'll ring my DT teacher from school. I got an A star in it in t design here technology. Here we go. I built a table. It was sick. So this is the co-pilot seat and we want to put maybe like a, a coffee cup holder and somewhere to slot in my phone to be able to charge it. Just so it's all handy, you know, maybe a little magazine rack, a little slush puppy machine behind me, <laughs> you know? Who do you think you are? Just the essentials, Craig. We're calling it a day. We're going to go to the beach for a swim instead. <laughs> yeah. Starting fresh tomorrow, is it? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> First dip of the year. Nice highlights, Craig. <laughs> I haven't washed since we started here. <laughs> Dirty bugger. So good to be back in the sea though. Love it. Morning lads. Well, it's actually the afternoon. 
Today we need to do a few bits. We've actually had the delivery of the four-way carpet, which is super exciting. So I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, Amy's asleep in the back of the car because she's a lazy little sod. So what I'm going to do now is clean the bus and uh, start looking at building this box. And then maybe we'll do some four-way carpeting. How's about that? Hiya! This is my work colleague, ladies and gents. Oh, look who's awake. Cameraman's here. <laughs> Cameraman's shoulder. <laughs> right, so this is the four-way carpet. We haven't seen it yet. It could be like that thing on eBay where it says like wheat colour and it comes just like cranberry. Or diarrhea. Oh, the truth. Ooh. Oh, it's perfect. Smart, that, isn't it? That's lovely, yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Because it's so bright in here, we want to just keep it light, you know? So we're going to try and build a box together like a couple. Yeah. Like a van life couple. Because every time I want to do something, every single time I want to attempt something in this bus, Amy's like, oh, we need to call Gary, oh, we need to call Rob. And I'm like, <laughs> you're doing this, whether you like it or not, because you need to start learning something. Watch how wonky it's going to be now. <laughs> it'll be wonky as f but it'll be our wonky little box. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Craig. <laughs> oh, welcome to Amy's workshop. Uh, Today we'll be working on the circular saw, which I never thought we had. Craig's mum, bringing out the guns again. We oh, don't geez. own any of this stuff, but I'm ready. I'm ready for you, Craig. I've had my nap. Um, let's get to work. This could be the world's worst box you've ever made, Craig. <laughs> Can we put glitter on it? Do you want? Yeah. Fuck's sake. Why don't you pile it all, man? I sh I've drilled them and everything. I got carried away with the drill, all right? So we're going to call it a day because we run out of screws. Run out of screws. So we're going to do some four-way carpeting instead. Bloody rookies, honestly. <laughs> it's one thing after another today. Just show the people what Craig Gomes, Bob the Builder, is using to cut the four-way carpet, please. Oh, it's um, Tesco's finest scalpels. That's what you're using. We came so pre prepared today, we couldn't find the handle for this. <laughs> so I'm literally just like... <laughs> it's literally the blind leading the blind with me and you. We've got nothing. Like we are brothers. rubbish. <laughs> All right, right so okay, we've got our piece cut now, then that's going to go up. Please don't mess it up, Craig. What do you mean, me? What's it's it both of us. If it gets messed up, mate, we're in this together. Don't throw me under the bus now. <laughs> Here we go, team chocolate teapot going in. You've done this before, though. Um, actually, I have messed it right up. People don't spray it all over the shop. I feel this up here. Yeah, it's, it's hard to spray it, babe. Alright, grab some tissues then. We don't want to run like that. It's always more going to work with everything. Do we have wet wipes here? You're gonna kill us! What do I need to turn off? Power. Power, all the power. Off. He's only gone and, like, what have you done? Nothing. Stop grassing me up. He's chopped something and he's nearly electrocuted himself because we've got a wire by there which is to add like a nightlight for if we if we read. Gary told me I learned from the best. <laughs> if in doubt, chop the wire. That is not what you should do and not with a pair of metal scissors either. You nearly sent us. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Craig. <laughs> Don't do that. Somebody please send help. So two and a half oh. hours later, look at that one piece of carpet we put in. Looks sick. Yeah. <laughs> so we nearly electrocuted ourselves. We ran out of screws and then we put one bit of carpet in. And now we're hungry, so we're like, should we go home? <laughs> Welcome to how to build a camper van with Craig and Amy. Yeah, so if you've got um, a good year and a half, uh, <laughs> keep following this channel. <laughs> we might be done by September next year. Get your feet year. off that white. No, no, it's not on it. Lucky. Good job. Top day, Craig. No, tomorrow's going to be so much better. Um, we're meeting Gary. Gary's like, bring the bus down to his shop. 
um, he's gonna to his workshop. Well, he's gonna do a bunch on it, and he what's he gonna do? Well, we're gonna start with the grey tank. Yeah. So actually, we need to find all the that, fittings because yeah. we'll need them tomorrow. Remember when that French guy like shouted at you in French because all of our grey water because you was emptied out? all of our porridge water onto the campsite floor. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Here we see Craig the Gazelle wishing he had a beautiful workshop like the one that Gary has. Wishing he had all the tools that he needed to build a beautiful bus. Loves it. Good morning, sir. How are you? Guten Tag. So whilst the lads are cracking on with the grey tank, we're going to carry on with the carpet. The carpet, yeah. I reckon four hours we can get another strip done. What do you reckon? You reckon? Fingers crossed. <laughs> cool. How are you getting on? I was going well until one of the wires came out and it sold me. I'll finish that later. Finish that later. Finish that later. <laughs> Honestly, we, we should call ourselves the 50% team uh, because nothing is more than 50% done. And then we're like, next, <laughs> board, next. Do a bit. It's not that great. Let's move on. <laughs> Try a new bit. That half again. Well, we're just like, Ga oh, Gary's doing something. Um, we'll, wait for, we'll wait for Gary. We'll do what we can and we'll wait for Gary. <laughs> but yeah, Gary and Jim are doing a great job of the grey tank, I think. Yeah. I can hear a lot of tapping and banging, so yeah. that's going. At least that's getting fitted Something's today. Something's getting done. As you can tell, it's not been a very successful week for us, but luckily we know Gary. So what we have finished this week is the painting. Yeah. Painting is done. I mean, it's easy, isn't it? Anyone can do that. <laughs> We've also got a brand new grey tank, which Yay! means we can shower and we can wash the dishes without pissing people off. Yeah. And we've also fixed our fresh water tank because it was leaking and we got a new nut for it. Yes. Not too bad overall. We couldn't go this week without talking about what's going on in the world right now. And we just wanted to say that we fully support the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, we saw that there was a protest in Cardiff. So yesterday we joined that protest and it's the first one we've actually ever been to and it was the most powerful, moving, incredible event that we, we've ever seen in our lives. Yeah, I, I just thought like we turn up and, you know, with some signs and march with everybody. But when we got there, it was in a massive field and there was loads of speakers. They had a big microphone and there was people telling their stories of how even as children, they had, they had been racially abused for their whole lives, even up until now in adulthood, and it's still happening. This isn't just an American problem. This is worldwide. This is a problem in the UK as well. So yeah, we just wanted to say, the biggest thing that you can do is just use your voice, whether you're a person who's having a conversation with your family or your friends about it, um, and especially as a white person, it, it can be uncomfortable. We've learned more in this week than we've learned in our whole lives about the black community. So much, yeah. It's a real eye-opener going to the protests and everything that's on the news and in social media. I'm, I applaud everybody that has shared this and really voiced their opinion on it because strength is in numbers, you know? we This needs to change. We all can collectively come together and have this change. We could change this. But the biggest problem is is silence. So if you're sat there and you're you're silent and you're not using your voice, if you're on the fence, then that's that's a problem. You know that you know we need to come together. You need people need to speak up. People need our help. Um, if you're worried about what to say as well, which we were, I've done a lot of research this this week um, to figure out like exactly what to say and to point people in the right direction for how how to help. You know how do we help? Um, we've linked down below, there should be a blog post on everything you can do, petitions, places you can go to donate money to help um, certain charities and funding. Um, read the books that we've we've linked, watch the documentaries. There's so much out there. And just educate yourself on this. And one thing that we, we learned as well, especially at the protest, was, was what white privilege is. Um, and one thing that we take for granted is we, we never have to worry about 
walking down the street and and someone shouting at us because of the color of our skin or calling us names because of the color of our skin we don't have to worry when we get pulled over by the police or if if we did get pulled over the police we wouldn't worry about that kind it's of thing it's not something that scares us every day it's not something we have to think about actively when we go out and we've never felt threatened because of our race um so that that is what white privilege is uh, and and so to hear people's stories on you know from black communities and how they've suffered it's it's heart-wrenching it's un- it's unbelievable <laughs> I've got, honestly, I've got so much to say on this, but I can't find the words to put, to, I write it, write it down better than I speak it, but it's disgusting yeah. that racism still exists in this world. And yeah, it is, it's prevalent in the UK as well. And to hear it so close to home was just, it was crazy. Yeah. So all we want to say is, yeah, just stand up for what you believe in. We've had a, a lot of hate on our posts on social from people and a lot of racists coming out of the woodwork. Um, so yeah that that, honestly we we wondered whether we put a section in our vlog because of it but you're wrong you're wrong we are standing up for what we believe in we're putting this out there this is right yeah (sighs) yeah use the links down below guys we'll leave a link to everything that you can do to help